Hey guys, sorry for the wait on what is probably going to be not the last part of this review because I'm probably going to transfer them back in the next video that will be tomorrow after like a football game that I have to go to because I'm playing! Isn't that awesome? We're probably going to lose. So. Not because I'm in it. Shut, shut up. I don't want to hear it, man. You are grounded from playing with your Transformer toys. You know what? Don't even call them toys. Call them things that are just going to be thrown away and burned in the burn pile out in the backyard or something. Brick. But where were we? We're right here. So the next step is, what we're going to do is take the head and turn it 180 to where, oh my god, you can't see him. And, as you can see, he has light piping. Isn't that special? Really, these toys have light piping, except if they have LEDs in their eyes. So what you're going to want to do is take this, pull the hood backwards like that, and take the dashboard, push it back, then take the hood of the car and push it forward. Keep the dash pushed back so you're going to want to hold it like this with your thumb, this thumb right here. Let's try to get that at an angle. Down here holding the holding the dashboard and keeping it in place. And you're gonna wanna use lots of force and push it back and push it forward at the same time. And push Bumblebee's head up as well. And then you just I recorded this once and it didn't wanna upload. So you take this little peg right here. Dang it. This little peg right here. This one. Put in this little hole right here. So you go just slide it and it should go in. Fix one of these arms up and fold this thing down. Cause that's just nothing. It's just like the back of Bumblebee that no one really cares about. <coughs> Fold the doors back as far as they can go, and fold the wheels back with them. And then you might think that you're done, but you're not. You gotta push these arms down to make them look flush and whatnot. And I completely forgot the missiles over that way. So let me slow motion look at that. And you have missile storage, isn't that wonderful? These little things that you stored them on under the car are very handy in storing these missiles, but you have a missile poking off of someone's arm, which is totally inconspicuous, and no one will ever notice it, so. These Hasbro people always remembering their arm missiles. Now sold in Walmarts near you. Alright. So, you're still not done. Some people, some people are having problems with these, like they want to just pull them out and twist them. No, that, that's, no, just no. Pull it out, you pull it out once, and then you, with a little bit of force you pull it out again, and you twist it until it... Sometimes it doesn't want to... Twist it until it snaps in place. But this one doesn't want to snap right now. There we go. Just until it like snaps in place or just like you feel it go like just a quick jar. And then one of these missiles, which I prefer to take this one out, so that the missiles are all on one arm, can go in here. And it's it's a it's a pretty good missile fire. It actually has a lot of force behind it. A lot more force than our deluxe movie back there. Can't see it because my big head's in the way. It's right there, next to that bottle of Coke. Cause that's just how epic I am. 
And if you think that's all, mm -mm, you're wrong. When you fold this ludicrous thing up, you get this ludicrous gun. Which is like... You, if you don't aim it right, it'll be like Bumblebee shooting himself in the back of the head like, Oh my god, Sam, shut up! Pew. That's better. And then under sh the dashboard right here, you see this double hinge thing. And you fold it up. Aha, but there's like another another thing on it, which is the other hinge. And it's got a gun. So you can like take it and put it forwards. And there's like a missile launcher that he used in the first movie right back here. And if you think that's all, you're still wrong. If you turn this arm around, and then you want to fold this hand around make it more flush. You take this thing on the back of the seat here, and it's another double hinge, and you get two ludicrous arm cannon things. L. A. C. T. Ludicrous arm cannon things. L. A. C. T. Come to stores near you. And then, if you think that's all the features, you're still wrong. You can take Sam, and he has little handy dandy peg holes in his feet, which I think I might have already pointed out, but I might not have. And this thing that we folded up, it has pegs on it. This thing back here. See it? And take Sam and peg him into the into it and have him grab hold of this shoulder missile bust up Decepticon thing. SMBUD also coming to stores near you. And you can have him shoot that, but if you get really tired, Sam, take this thing and point it backwards and blast him in the face with it. And if you think that's all, you're still wrong, because you can peg him into the seat and have him operate this thing. But I prefer not to do all that stuff, because I think it's kind of useless. But then, then, that's still not enough. He has a flippity downy masky thing. Yes. FDMT also in stores now. And it looks kind of bubbly compared to CGI models, but you get used to it after a while, and it's not as bad as it looks on camera. It really doesn't look that bubbly in real life. It, it's actually a whole lot more epic looking. And it actually snaps. It snaps up snaps when it's up here, snaps down like that, Sna snaps up, and it snaps down when it's down here, and if you use enough force you can completely pop the thing off, which I, that hasn't happened before, but it does snap and it is very handy, and now Bumblebee is bald. Just went to the barber shop and got shaved. And all you people complaining about, well, this isn't the real Bumblebee because Bumblebee has horns. I have no idea what you're talking about, because if you look closely, right there, these things that are just like, not there, he, he doesn't have horns, does he? I mean, those things that are sticking up ob are obviously not horns, they're just like random things that stick up, right? 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 Wrong. They're horns. Look at them. Okay? They're horns. If they weren't there, what would they be? Head panels that power his processor or some crap? They're, they're horns, dude. Seriously, are you going to have a cow? I mean, if you didn't have hor horns, would you would you go, <gasps> No, Michael Bay, you're ruining my adulthood because, well, in G1 he had horns, and now he doesn't. What are you talking about? Shut up, crybabies. Shut up. It do does it really matter? If he has horns or not, he's still Bumblebee, and he's still cool, besides the fact that he's a freaking psychopath. But that 